Good morning, everybody. Relic right here at Justin McGee, Sister Rhonda filming, that new friend digging. Uh, she's gonna be camera shy at least the first first hunt or two. Uh, her name's Lydia, though. Um, she's kind of new to detecting. She's done a little bit of it, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna coach her and hopefully uh, help her find some good stuff. So we're where the last video. I assume the last video ended. We last 10 minutes, 20 minutes. We were here. We dug seven. Japanese coins, 80 to 100 years old, four pendants, uh, one silver, some with language on it, we didn't know. But anyway, we dug them right here in a 10 by 10 spot. Right here below us, there's a bunch of cans. As you can see, I think Justin literally dug one of the pendants right here in front of us and kicked one of the cans out of the way. So we're gonna start the video by cleaning up the ground uh, and see if there's more stuff down the hill. We got barbed wire and cans and stuff to deal with but uh being that there were 10 or 12 awesome targets right here we think we're going to find something good under those cans so we're going to start by cleaning up the cans and then uh we may move out around some of these old foundations uh come uh come go with us and uh let's see if we can fill up the tailgate Justin brought gloves just for this all right y'all we're going to clean up some trash and then we're going to check out here there behind you Rhonda mm-hmm well, yeah we saw the shoe yep so shoes have a uh, shoes have little brass grommets in them the old style shoes they're usually a pretty good target that's probably what Justin's beeping on right here just a little probably, <laughs> <laughs> probably some trash. Yeah. all right maybe we can detect here for a minute stay away from uh stay away from that big cedar tree Think we can get some barbed wire out of the way? Yeah, I got a little bit. Tied in. Oh, there's some more cans. We're gonna find some cans here. Oh, yeah. Please. We'll keep we'll keep cleaning. Maybe a piece, maybe or something. I'm picking up using sector. First good target of the day right here beside, beside where I think stuff ought to be. We're gonna uh, we're gonna watch Justin dig that together because <clears throat> according to the signals of the day, that might be another one of the little little uh Japanese coins. It's sketchy, but those were little tiny. That's coins. right. Pretty close. It wasn't as deep as we thought, was it? I don't think so. Did it fall out? I think it's I think it's gonna be what we think it's gonna be. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. Ah, in that clump. Is it round? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Round? Round-ish, but not flat. No. Maybe a light bulb. Broken no. light bulb. No. Oh, shoot. Eh. I think so. When it was the right size. When you've been digging old Japanese <laughs> coins and pendants, the light bulb end will get you really excited. Still hard to tell. <laughs> maybe a bottle cap. Maybe an old bottle cap. Tiny like bottle maybe cap. Maybe a bottle cap, yep. yep. Anyway, stuff. Yep. All right, so I was digging right here and uh, showing our new digging friend, Lydia, uh, tips about how to dig. Had an iron target. Uh, <clears throat> dug it up. <laughs> little baby coat shoe. I put my glasses in my pocket. Anyway, it was a it was a cool little thing to give a demo on. Yep. Recovering Very artifacts cool. together. Second hole of the day. Let's see what we got. Something in the. <laughs> 
Every dime. Every time we do Every time, y'all. Every time. I didn't realize it on the last one because it was a horseshoe and it beat way bigger than my ring. So we'll put that in my pocket. Still got a good target here. And it's still in the clump. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Round, round, round out of the ground. You know what? I don't think that's the size of the big Japanese coin or the little Japanese coin. I think that's a button. I think it's a button. Oh, nice. Yep. Let me get some glasses on. See what we got. There's a good little signal. I don't know what I have. I think I have... Got a button. It's got a shank. Got a broke off shank on the back. Yep. yep. Very cool, y'all. We'll get a toothbrush out and brush on this. We'll get back with you. And got a little convexness to it, so not exactly what you'd call a flat button, but a cool old button. How about that, Lydia? It's cool. It is cool. We're covering artifacts together. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I didn't bring a toothbrush. The truck's about 200 yards away. I'm going to run back to the truck, get a toothbrush, and get right back. All right, so... Lydia just found okay. something cool. Something very cool, maybe. Oh, I broke it, Lydia. <laughs> no, you just broke the dirt off of it. I don't know what I'm looking at here. What am I looking at? Never seen anything do that. There's definitely corrosion on, on it. Oh. Now I'm breaking the outside. I think it's a head stamp. <laughs> I think it's a head stamp falling apart, but... It's the oldest one in the world. I'm not sure. This is why Justin doesn't let us pick his stuff up and start picking at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is an old, old head stamp. Oh, man. Look at that, y'all. It's just coming apart. I think most head stamps will be around a few few hundred more years, but this one would not be. That's wild. Sorry, Lydia. It's okay. There's your first treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging up old barn parts. <laughs> I'd be hooked to the barn door still. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> How about that? Uncle Marty was here. By the way, Mar Uncle Marty, we miss you. If Uncle Marty was here. He'd be hammering that on the barn door later this evening. Go low fight. It is. It's a piece of brass. What kind of brass? Piece of brass, maybe. Piece of brass off a lantern or something. Cool. Piece of brass off something. She got it. She got something. No, it's not jar lid. No, it's not. It's uh, almost looks like a little tag. Actually, we were digging. It might be a piece of brass strap, and we were digging. Uh, we were digging some of that up the hill the other day. So anyway, cool old find. Right, Y'all, I don't ever pick up bottles, and I got a really good signal somewhere that I can't remember where it's at because I saw this bottle. I don't ever pick up bottles, and I know it's not that old. But I think I may keep this one. It does say 1788 all over it. Still got the cork in it. Still got the. The screw on lid, which means not no. not crazy old in my limited bottle knowledge. But it does say seventeen eighty eight. It says seventeen eighty eight all over it. So anyway, I kinda like that one. I think I'll keep it. It says one pint too. I think that's a fairly modern. Anyway, we'll figure out what that is. Look on the bottom of it. It says made in the USA. I think it's leaking something out. Oh, it smells like water. Made in USA, something, something, something. So anyway, it's a pretty bottle. Probably not an old bottle. <laughs> Putting my stuff down. Did somebody just find this? What? This round thing that looks like a bell. It may be a bell. I dug it out of that hole right there, but that was my good signal yeah. I couldn't find. Just set it there. I don't, I don't want to carry it around. I don't know what that is, but it's not a bell. It doesn't have. That's what I dug out of the hole I couldn't find. I bet I rolled it. Oh, it was laying on top of the I ground. Bet I rolled it too far away. I don't know what that is, though. Oh, yeah, that is cool. I have one that um, brass something. 
Uh-huh. All right, guys. Rhonda picked that up right beside a, a hole I dug. I bet when I flipped my plug over, it rolled too far away for me to detect. And I, I knew I was confused. I don't know what that is. Is it a crotal bell? No. It's not a crotal bell. It's so close, though, that we could probably hold just the top of it like this <laughs> and say, look, we found a crotal bell. <laughs> Our first ever crotal bell here in middle Georgia. Put anyway, we we'll cleaned it up and figured it out. It grew its own fern. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm going to clean it off and see what kind of bottle it is. All right, y'all. We came in here beside where we uh, dug 700-year-old coins the other day and four brooches, and we were going to move some trash around, and we did. And we're going to try to dig some more. And then we came another 20 yards down the hill and found the bottle dump of all bottle dumps. Not crazy old, but we're going to see if there's some older stuff under, underneath. Already found a couple cool things. Um, you never know. Our metal detecting might turn into a bottle hunt. What is that? Uh -oh. Wrench. No way. Oh, bang it on the tree. Adjustable wrench? Mm-mm. That's a nail. Uh-uh. Some sort of fastener. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Very cool. <laughs> oh, that is. That's the bottom half of the wrench. Oh. Very cool, Lee. That's the clamp, I believe. And that's the threads. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> we'll figure that out, but I believe that's the bottom clamp on the wrench. I think the top has, hence the reason they would throw something away. People either threw it away or they lost it, dropped it in the mud. So cool old find. Nice. Yeah. Uh-oh. Is it broke or it just a half short of, one? Half of a file. Half of a file. Yep. Huh. Put it in a short file drawer. <laughs> hadn't, really, uh, hadn't really been over this way much, so I uh, was kind of hoping... Justin would find some more cool old stuff for me to dig up. But <laughs> so far, just a file. Oh, look at the caterpillar. Ah, Weird. leading the way. Right oh, there. right there. Let me yeah. hold on a second. I'm going to flip the plug over on him. I'm going to flip the plug over this way. He's Run, a, caterpillar. He's in a hurry. He's fine. He, I'd be worried that he might sting. So I'm not going to move him, but I am going to avoid him. Not hurt him or... Let him hurt me. Oh. <laughs> the caterpillar was a whole lot cuter. He's round. And got a little weight to it. That is not a bottle cap, y'all. All right, Justin. Uh. Uh, could be a bottle cap. <laughs> that's a very solid, brassy bottle cap. Why do you have to be so pretty? I don't think that's a bottle cap. Brass. Bottle caps aren't brass. I don't know. Anyway, I have to figure that out and get back with y'all. Oh, look, it's got a little notch right there. Oh, it's got several notches. Yep. This is like a pocket watch. Back or something. Back or something. Justin digging head stamps. Head stamp. While you're digging head stamps, you need to tell me what I'm huh. digging. Very much like a bottle cap, but that's not, I don't think. Uh-uh. It wouldn't have those got, notches on it. It's got some yeah. notches around it. I think I broke one off. That's odd. I don't know. Looks like it has three dimples or dots. Like a... And one in the middle, maybe. The end of a big fuse or something, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Huh. Something. Anyway, Interesting. Lean hmm. on that a little more and get back with y'all. Old head stamps and brass thingies. This is a heck of a signal right here. I almost called you over and said, Oh, yeah. Check that right there. Yep. See? Justin is smarter than me. He left this, and I dug it on camera. All right, everybody. Relic right, right here. Justin McGee, new digging friend, Lydia. Appreciate her coming along. Um, she had one of the finds of the day, actually. We're going to go through them all right quick. Uh, we're going to dig another hour or two, so never know how that's going to end up. But we found found some fun stuff. Went back to where we thought we were going to find a bunch of old coins and uh, brooches. And, of course, we didn't because that's how it works. Some cool old jars. I don't know what that is or how old it is. I guess it's, it's old enough. But, uh, anyway... 
came with its own little uh own little fern uh something oh i know what that is that's uh somebody vix 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 salve that our all our grandmamas used uh old hinge oh be cool to figure out where that headlight came from not that old um some jar lids pretty sure that's the lock plate off a house or barn um it was something anyway uh justin found an old file we got filing cabinets we put those in found a, 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 a flapper off an ice tray those ring up really good you can't ignore them some sort of bell thingy i know it's not a bell but it's fun to call it a bell um anyway anyway some sort of some sort of thing um brass cap off something several head stamps maybe a little tiny sliver of a horseshoe left uh justin there's some oh that's a dial number justin found the inside of an old pocket watch always a cool find um i dug a horseshoe a flat button with some sort of design on it maybe by the time the video comes out we'll have some close pictures but anyway cool old flat button um lydia found i think this is the bottom half of a of an adjustable wrench looks very very old probably had a, a wooden handle on it at one time anyway i don't know if that's the find of the day but that's a cool old find put that into some what has marty put them in some uh, worcestershire sauce. <laughs> put that in some worcestershire sauce and clean it right up that'll look cool anyway appreciate y'all watching if you like what you're seeing please like comment and subscribe All right, take two. Justin found the coolest old intact flashlight I've ever seen. I feel like I could unscrew it and put two D batteries in it and turn it on. So brass or copper one anyway. And the way we started out, we were trying to clean the woods up so we could detect in a spot where we thought there was going to be a bunch of stuff. Anyway, we're hauling a bunch of trash out of here to recycle and or get out of the woods. Um, cool old finds. All right, everybody, here at a new site. Uh, we moved down the road about a half a mile. Old home place beside us here in middle Georgia. We can go in there and see what we can find hole. I guess I dug 27 holes while I go at the last site. So uh, we're three holes away from 2,000. Mine's trash, I'm digging it. It was a can, Prince Albert. Ah, there you go, I think I probably there have There you go. Exact same thing. Give me a pinpoint there, give me a pinpoint. Oh! That is not a Prince Albert can, but it is a something. Be quiet, pinpointer. That's that's heavy. That's not can material. It rings around it like it would have been a can. That's something else. Some sort of gear or... Huh. Anyway. Justin. Huh. Yeah, some sort of old something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, I said the last one was going to be my last can lid. This is whole 2,000 on the journey, y'all. Four months. This shovel, this detector, is the 2,000 holes. And as much as I'd like the 2,000th hole to be a silver quarter and give us good luck for the next 1,000, I don't think that we're going to be counting on that. So, hole number 2,000. There you gonna, go. Gonna be a, gonna be the about the thirtieth can lid on the day. No, we've dug some decent stuff. It's all been can lids, but this all is. Oh, nope. It's the whole can. <laughs> it, with the bottom tore out of it. <laughs> with the bottom trying to hang on to it. Somebody <laughs> told me these were the original old beer cans, but I think those might be original old oil cans. I don't know, but they're old and trashy. I'm just digging this because it might be something different. A different piece of trash. Ah, I see something. What do I see? I see something yellow. Ha! <laughs> a treasure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tight joint compound. But, but look how pretty the tube is. 
and still got some in it. And you can read all the writing on it, y'all. When we get home and we got time, maybe in a couple years, we will research this and figure it out for y'all. Oh, and it unscrews. Ooh, it's very set up. We're going to have to go to another site, y'all. Anyway, recovering this old stuff together. Something big, I think. So we're at our third site. Came to where we think there may have been an old house one time. <coughs> Second site was terrible. It's full of trash. Whatever it is, is under that rock. I'm not going to leave the rock out here for the hay, for the hay cutter. Now, let's get this can out of the ground and go find something good. Yeah. Four minute video. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, and only two of them. That is so freaking cool. Y'all, we're at a creek somewhere. Not sure what the creek's called, but there are American goldfinches showing off for us. Yucky little signal here. We're at uh, 38 on the day. This is a four spot we've been to. Last two probably won't make the video. Right, got a little small 16, 18 signal here. Probably nothing good. Pretty, pretty solid little signal though. So, um, Yeah, this is the four spot of the day. And the first two, the second, third one probably won't make the video. First one, we found enough stuff. There's a darn good chance that we probably should still be at that spot. <laughs> but we went chasing stuff and we needed to cool off. It's round and little. That's a cool something, y'all. Let's see if we can find some sunshine. I don't know what that is. It's a darn good signal, as you can see why. It's brass. It really, really, really wants to be like a half dollar or something. Huh, it's oh, got it's got writing. something on it. Got writing on it. All right, I got to put glasses on if I'm going to see it. Are you sure it's got something on it? Yep. yep. Cool, it cool. It's got something on it. I'm getting the real glasses out. I, I think just... it has stars on it. And oh wow yes it has stars and something right there i don't know i'm gonna keep scrubbing y'all yep till we till we say you got water no you got coke <laughs> hocus pocus it's got like a i keep thinking that's gonna be like a keyhole or something but there's nothing open on the top just on the bottom well that's a cool find hey maybe that's the you know what what if this is the label to marty's book what if this is the the little so yeah, the insignia that was on the kids' piggy banks. They had little round things on yep. them. Yep, that is too cool. And that's shaped like his book. Yeah. I All don't right, know. them apples. That's cool. <laughs> that would be really funny. All right, we'll, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> Dropped it. Like a nail to me. That is not a nail. Not that a... is something way cooler than a nail. Wow, well, I know what that is. All right, we're going to let Lydia guess for about five seconds. Not well, much longer because she'll never guess. Um, It goes on a toy car. No, that's a good the guess. Axle like an axle? Mm -hmm. No, that's a good guess. It's a lot older than that. This is a um, whip mechanism for turning up the whip in a lantern. Wow. Yep, in an oil lamp. Yep, that's a lot of them cool. have a little round knob on them with... Uh, yeah, this is not much of one. <laughs> Usually you find them, they're more intact because they're brass. So anyway, go a little yep. fine. Little, uh, little wick adjustment from a lantern. Ah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Silver plated and big. Big old, yep. big old serving spoon. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, pretty. Where you at, sunshine? Come here, sunshine. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a good one, Clint. Yeah, I don't know if it's crazy old, but it's crazy cool. Marty found one here. Right, I'm going to go to some sunshine somewhere and you follow me. 
All right. I thought we had a spoon with a bunch of deco on it, but I don't know if it might not just be patina patina. Is it is it hand etched? I don't know, y'all. Old spoon, and I believe it was silver plated, but I can't. I thought it had. I thought it was covered in stuff at first, and now it just looks like. It just looks like goop. All right, we'll clean that up at the truck and uh, sure it's silver plated. Get back with y'all. Cool old spoon. All right, everybody. Relic right here. Justin McGee. Uh, new digging friend, Lydia. Sister Rhonda behind the camera. First site was pretty good. We did a tailgate wrap up. We'll show y'all that. This next three sites have been rough. This one we did okay. We found a cool old spoon. We found a little lantern, uh, lantern wick part. We found what we think might be the badge to Marty's metal book he dug up a couple weeks ago. This, uh, I think about, or may have just come out on video. Um, we think the spoon may have an anchor on it and we will figure that out before this video hits. Justin found a whole bunch of a clock with the winder on it. That is so cool, Justin. Got all the gears in it. Usually you just find the gears, little, little gear pieces, but he found a good chunk of it. Anyway, not a whole lot at the next three sites, but that's metal detecting. If uh, you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, Rhonda and Lydia and Justin.